Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. So I'm in the middle of making dinner for tonight and I decided why not share it with you guys. So we're gonna make something very simple, very easy. And I'll insert in here um, a clip of the recipe that I'm using. I found it on Pinterest. I just veganized it and utilized different things that my family and I likes. I know some of the stuff is processed stuff, but if it's gonna help you transition from um, eating meat to not eating meat, then I say do what you have to do until you get where you're going. Just that simple. So it is a pasta meal right now. I've got the um, spaghetti cooking, and then I'll show you some of the other ingredients that'll be in there. Here is the spaghetti, almost done. To that, I'm going to, of course, put some pasta sauce on it. We, I like this one it gives it a little bit more flavor and um we've got some mozzarella cheese decided i um, spice it up a little bit and put some <clears throat> spicy monterey jack cheddar cheese in here and then some parmesan cheese to go on top and then um we'll have these patties on top of there as our topper so this is our meat replacement so it's vegan parm and then i'm gonna season it up with a little salt not a lot Onion powder, Italian seasoning, sorry, wasn't focused, <laughs> garlic powder, and some black pepper. So I'm going to put all of that on top, and it's going to go in this casserole dish here, which I've already sprayed down with some canola oil, and we're going to plop that in the oven for about 30 minutes. This meal is super easy to make literally takes maybe 15 minutes to prepare it and put it all together and then another 30 minutes in the oven in less than an hour you're eating dinner and enjoying it we're gonna have it with salad on the side my family may do toast i'm not eating as much bread right now so i won't have any but they will have some probably some garlic toast i'll make homemade maybe use some bread and put some butter and garlic powder and parsley on top pop it in the oven um, while it's still hot and that'll be the bread they'll have with it but let's watch me make it now that the pasta is all drained we're going to add some pasta sauce to this um i'm going to do about a jar and a half of it you can find the recipe like i said on pinterest type in lazy vegan parm parmesan and it should come up with no problem i'm going to add some pasta sauce to this and that's just a Mm -hmm. Nice hot pasta. I feel like it's ready. What y'all think? So I've got the sauce added and then I'm going to uh, season it up a bit and then add in my mozzarella cheese. Then I'm going to put it in the other dish and top it with the rest of the mozzarella cheese and uh, Parmesan cheese. You can add as much or as little as you like with the salt I would say definitely don't get too heavy-handed with it just need a little bit um, and then as far as the rest of the seasons use as much as you like whatever floats your boat tastes good to you so garlic powder onion powder definitely just a little bit of Italian seasoning because sometimes the pasta sauce just doesn't have enough flavor. So you can add a little more of your own to it. And a little black pepper. Not too much. I don't want it too spicy. Your chicken patties that one we use are already spicy enough. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to mix all of this up. And then add in my cheese. Once you've got it like all mixed up, now you can add in your mozzarella cheese. It says about three cups or so. I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not going to use all of it because I want to put some more on top with the Parmesan cheese. Definitely want to do this while it's still hot. And then we're also going to add in some of the... Get a little mat in there. I'm going to stir that up, mix it up and combine it. And then we're going to put it into the casserole dish. I'm going to transfer this into the dish. 
very hard to do with one hand. And yeah. You gotta get all of it out, y'all. I'm going to. I shall. Let me get my scooper. Got it all out with my Dollar Tree scraper. These things are life. I love these things. They're very helpful, very handy. They work well with my dishes. But yes, I got it all out. We waste not. We want not because we waste not. So it is all in. Now I'm going to top it with um, eight patties. Nope, only six fits in this dish. So six patties like here, 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 and here. And then put some more sauce on top. Sprinkle some more cheese and then pop it in the oven. So these are what the patties look like. Looks like a regular chicken patty. Um, and the size of them won't let eight of them fit in here. So I'm going to put the six. Got them spaced out. Going to top it with some more sauce. So I just put, I start off by putting just a little bit on each one. So I make sure each one of them gets covered. Mind you, this sauce isn't seasoned. But the cheese has flavor in it too. And then I go back and I finish spreading. I'm going to spread it out. I don't know about you guys, but do you put water in your jar to make sure you get the rest out? Or do you just throw the jar away because that's all that's in there? I'm a water in the jar girl. Not a whole lot of water, but just enough to get it out. Just pour and sprinkle just a little because I don't want it too runny. I'm going to take and I sprinkle the rest of that on. And then I spread it out and cheese it. Again, my handy dandy spatula does a little bit of everything for me. Cover them. I'm covering the patties and sales like completely with sauce. like so okay I'm gonna set the oven to 375 and start it and get ready to pop it in so 630 now we should be able to eat dinner by 7 don't look at my toes I'm gonna sprinkle the top with a little bit more pepper jack not a lot again I don't want it super spicy and this cheese does kind of it melts Kinda, sorta, like not all the way, but it does pretty good. And then a little bit more mozzarella. Actually, the rest of the mozzarella. Of my brands of cheese, I like the Daya better. Daya Daya, I don't know if I'm saying them right. When it comes to stuff like this, um, I get that I waste some on the floor now because I'm trying to do it with one hand. Ooh. This one is soy free, dairy free, gluten free cheese. Um, so I like this one a lot. It works. Now I'm going to take and top it with a little Parmesan. And this is what the Parmesan cheese looks like. For this one, um, this is the only brand that I've found. If you guys know more, let me know. Follow your heart. Cheese for the Parm. Sprinkle a little of that on top. Not a lot in there, so I'm going to get a little more. So... Finish topping it with some um, Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put it in the oven uncovered. And be ready in about 30 minutes. I'll show you guys the finished product and then how we plate it. Alright, thanks. Alright, so I forgot to record it coming out of the oven. So this is us getting it and our remnants of taking it out. But it cheese, the cheese melted really good, if you guys can see here. I'll show you my plate. 
And here is my clean plate. I know it's empty. It was good, yummy. All right, so that's dinner. Thanks y'all for watching. Be blessed and less stress. Shanti speaks.